So tonight's event, the second annual Seymour Duncan Benefit Concert for Notes for Notes, this basically helps us keep the studios open and running and it helps open new ones. I don't know how you all came here, but it was with a great deal of serendipity that we ended up here. And so it's for all of us to treasure that, to smile upon it, to feed it, to nourish it, and really give back. So that's what Notes for Notes is about. That's what this benefit concert is about. So, uh, and it cannot happen though without everybody in this audience. There's value, there's real value in instilling more of a positive kind of uh, outlook. And I think music enriches people's lives in a positive way. You know, we do whatever we can to give back to the community because because the community needs it and because it's very important for us to give back the blessings that we've had in our music, so that's why we're here. Everything we've ever done uh, always involves kids. Uh, we don't get involved in politics or you know political fundraisers or anything like that. It has to involve kids. It started out with just pickups and all the guitars, and then it came from when Rod had that idea. It's like, oh, we should maybe put together a show. Like, there's something here. Santa Barbara doesn't have it, yet we got this local legend who makes guitar pickups for the world's greatest guitar players in our backyard. You know, as a supporter of them, and you know, last year when it was coming up on their 35th anniversary, it's like, how do we commemorate that, and how do we bond, you know, as Seymour Duncan, bond themselves to the community and give back? So since we'd already been working with them, you know, then it came from Evan and MJ and the introduction to Kathy, and then everyone was on board. You know, it was all engines go. That's something we we always support. I mean, kids and music is like that's a that's a strong point. These artists came together to donate their time to make this happen, which makes the studios happen. So it's it's really a message of like the power of music and what music can become and where it can go from there. One of the responsibilities I take the most seriously at the board level is we are here to help a young man achieve a dream and to protect that, to protect that culture, no matter how far we go with it. told me, hey, come on down to the West Side Music Box one day and at the Boys and Girls Club. So I went down and immediately I was hooked and I loved it. And uh, it's just been a great experience for me to learn how to play different types of instruments for free. I did um, the Notes for Notes summer camp and from there I got introduced to all these guys and to Taylor and Dakota and from there I joined the Notes for Notes band and I met all these guys and we just been jamming and playing some shows around town and now we're here at Fulbero. This group is great, it's really eclectic. We started out with a couple of kids a couple of years ago. We've had a few of them kind of wander in over the last few months from different musical programs. Um, very fortunate to have the chemistry that they have uh, naturally. Music is happiness for, for, for a kid, for a youth, for an adult, for, for everybody. So for us, holding hands to hands with notes for notes and helping these kids and giving them the joy of music is what our business in the Santa Barbara community should be doing. MJ really is our secret weapon because she's not scared to just call these guys straight up and say, hey, I want you to play for uh, Notes for Notes. And they do because A, they love MJ and Evan and Kathy and all the Seymour Duncan crew. And B, they like our cause. When they hear about what Notes for Notes is doing, they wanna, they wanna support it. You know, MJ managed to work her magic and get Steve Miller to come on for the first one. She worked her magic again this year and got Los Lobos, Evan secured Joe. So the event is growing to be what we hope it becomes, which is sort of our own version of the Bridge School benefit, where it's like, you never know who's gonna show up on stage. You know, and that's the importance of the night is you just want to go because it almost doesn't matter who's playing. You know it'll be a good time and you know the impact that a show like this will make on Notes for Notes and being able to open up more studios, sustain them, and at the end of that, introduce more kids to music. Backbeat, supporting music in your community. Give us a like on Facebook.